And while it's been a violent week in Kansas City, Missouri, on the Kansas side, police are doing what they can to connect with youth. Fox Force Reagan Porter was at the Unified Government Fleet Services Complex today. That's near 50th and State Avenue. She has an inside look at some new equipment that they're bringing into neighborhoods, trying to reach kids as part of the solution. This is the Kansas City, Kansas Police Department's new mobile video gaming center. It's designed to bridge the gap between police and youth in the community. If you make a friend in middle school, you have a friend for life. And I think the police department, we really want to focus on that age group. From the six video screens to the eight consoles, Chief Carl Oakman says it's all fun and games. Ten kids can play at one time in basketball, football, and racing, all kid-friendly games. You won't find uh, Grand Theft Auto in here. Oakman says before touching a joystick, officers will play public service announcements, talking with kids about the dangers of fentanyl and opioids. They'll also hit gun safety and violence. So I think those are really important to explain to our young people and let them really understand that um, they can be the solution in this problem that we're having. Oakman says in Kansas City, Kansas, violent crime is down by 30%. In 2023, the city saw a 27% decrease in violent crime. He attributes that to enforcement, focusing on the most dangerous criminals and community engagement. That's one of the reasons they're rolling out this mobile video gaming trailer. We have to start with our young young people really changing the mindset, changing the focus. KCK police are having their third annual Peace Walk this Saturday morning at 1045. They're meeting at 5th in Washington. Reagan Porter, Fox 4, working for you.